What's up, everybody? It's been a minute. How's everybody doing today? I am. Oh, I didn't change the schedule here. Live stream Friday, 8 p.m. CST, and Sunday, 11 a.m. CST. So I gotta change the slide here. I am perfect. It is what it is. Um, how's everybody doing today? Let me know. Um, can you all hear me? Can you all see me? Yeah, it's been a while. I don't know what's happening. I totally did break something too because I had music on in just a second ago, but now it's missing. It's okay. Um, let me let me let me figure out what's going on. But today we're going to be exploring Astro because it's awesome. And if you're in the chat, say hello. If you're not in the chat, what are you doing? Say hello anyway. Wow. Anyway, anyway, we're doing we're doing good here. Huh. Huh. Anyway, anyway, I'm just kind of getting situated here while everybody's jumping in. Say hello. I thought I had music playing in the background, but I guess who needs the music, right? Let me know if you could hear me, see me, not see me. Wow, like I discovered something new about my app, which is perfectly fine. Uh, the music is done. Anyway, no, no big deal, no big deal. Who needs the music? I could hear it in my headphones, so I could hear the music. You probably don't need the music. Um, anyway, so what are we going to do today? We're going to explore Astro. And first of all, yeah, so we're going to explore. I, I think I had Discord open at the same time, and it's blowing stuff up. I do have a Discord that I'll send an invite. I'm trying to be more active on it. But if you're in the chat, I have no idea. Uh, let me know. <laughs> let me know if you can hear my audio and everything is working. And I don't expect to have too many people um, jumping in. Why? Because it's Friday. People have other things to do. But me, I'm home by myself. All alone. That's sad, right? No, it's not sad because I get to do things like explore things. And today we're going to explore Astro and play around with it. If you've never played with Astro, it's pretty awesome because it allows you to build um, websites fairly quickly. And what's cool about Astro, it allows you to build website statically and there's many different options but what i like about it is that you could use html and css and just straight up javascript like vanilla html css javascript which will be pretty pretty awesome and pretty cool and so that's what we're going to do today and i'm excited for it because if you're not excited for strappy i don't know what to tell you but it's really really good stuff and that's what we're going to work and asher is perfect for building blogs marketing sites, agency sites, e-commerce sites, and like other things like that, and portfolio sites, which is really cool. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to discover Astro together, and we're going to try to build something. So without any ado, let's jump into it. But before we jump into Astro, if you are in the chat, let me know how you're doing. Let me know what's up but we're going to continue with it. So whenever you're looking to start and build something, the most important place to start is by actually just try things out. So here we have this NPM create Astro latest. So I'm gonna copy this command and we're gonna give it a try. So we are going to give Astro a try and build something together. So I already have my terminal running and I am going to copy the command and create Astro Project at latest. Ooh, I love their, I love their terminal stuff. Looks really, really good. So we're going to keep at it. Do, do you, uh, where would you want to create your project? I think that's a cool name, but we're going to keep it simple. We're going to call it front end. 
And let me know in the chat if you all tried Astro before or not. Um, do we want to include sample files recommended? Yes, yeah, so let's include some sample files. I think this will be beautiful and great. Install dependencies. Yes, let's install dependencies. Why not? It is doing its magic. Uh, super excited. I, I, yeah, the trailer looks cool. And I realize I do have music playing. That's cool. Anyway, if the music is annoying, let me know. I'll make it less annoying. Uh, I don't know how loud it is. Probably, hopefully it's not too loud, but we we'll just hang out here. Anyway, do you plan to write TypeScript? Yes, we are going to use TypeScript even though I suck at TypeScript. It's no big deal. And let's say strict, initialize a new repository. I'm going to say no for now because I'll save it for later. So it's going to go ahead and start our project. And so if I do LS, we have our front end. I'm going to do CD front end and I'm going to open it in VS Code. Once my project is open, let me make this bigger. Let's see here. All right, all right, all right. And that looks good. Let me change the color so I don't get confused. Yellow, that looks good. And then we want to make it a little bit bigger so everybody could see. So we just installed Astro. With the Astro command, we ran npm create Astro at latest, and we just opened our project. So we could take a look at folders. We have the node modules, which is great. We have public, which if you wanted to put some public images or stuff there, we have our source file. And here we have our layout and we have our pages. And what Astro uses, it uses um, file-based routing. So that means each file or folder will be around. Currently, we just have index.astro. What's awesome, if we take a look at index.astro, we already have a layout component. But if you look at, I think this is too big. Let me make it a little bit smaller. If you take a look here, um, this actually looks like straight up HTML. And it is, and which is kind of awesome because you're able to use just vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create cool things, which is pretty fantastic. So if we were to run our project, I think you could run Yarn Dev. Let's go into localhost 1431 here. Let me get this here. Boom, and here's our Astro project running. So if I were to go ahead in my VS Code and remove everything here, right? And just say main, ta-da, what's gonna happen? Let me just move this here. Look at that, ta-da, right there. So we set up our basic uh, project and what you will notice right away, you're going to see something weird here. And I'm gonna delete this card component for now because you don't need it, is you're going to see these um, dashes and anything you this that's called like front matter in Astro. This is basically where you would put your JavaScript. Uh, JS will go here to do some stuff and it will get stripped out once you statically generate your website, which is kind of cool. And we'll learn more about it. And anytime you're using something or building something, um, don't be shy to look to try the documentation. So I'm going to open link in the new docs and always rely on documentation because this is your friend. And if I were to search front matter, uh, I thought, yeah, access front matter from your mark doc, modifying front matter with a remark. Um, let's, let me just quickly browse through here because again, we're exploring something for the first time together to show you how to do it. I think basically, I don't know, like, but in general terms inside your Astro application, anything within here, it's going to be where you're importing stuff. This is called, uh, I, they call it front matter. I don't know why. I just call it, this is where you put your JavaScript stuff. And what's awesome, you could do fetch requests, you could do all this other cool stuff. And inside here, you literally would write your HTML. And what you're able to do, by the way, you're able to use um, your style tags 
to write your uh, CSS. So you could literally just build websites with HTML and CSS. I and mean, we're gonna explore it more. For now, we're just gonna start from very scratch. I'm going to like delete this stuff because we don't need it. So we're basically gonna have our basic styles and you could also create um, global styles. I think it's by using is global. And so anything that I put here will be globally available to us, but we're not gonna worry about this right now. And you're probably wondering what is this layout component? So if you look here, and by the way, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, we'll be more than happy to answer and help out. And again, we're just exploring Astro here together and we're gonna build something. And if you have any ideas for what we should build, uh, like a simple website, let me know. Uh, it'll be a great uh, exercise in whatever you want to call it. So, but if you take a look under layouts, we have our layout here and um, you could see that it has our basic HTML tags, has the basic stuff for like the title, the meta information. So it's straight up HTML. It has some basic styling here that's global. I'm going to remove all the styling because what we're going to do, we're going to use Tailwind. But um, this is our wrapper layout. So for instance, if I want to put a header or a footer, I header or footer a navigation bar right i'm just gonna put straight up header and we're gonna challenge yourself to use html this will be the header you know and if we put here below this will be footer right right semantic html why not this is footer i've been using so much react next.js and jsx it's almost liberating to write some HTML and CSS. So that's the, gonna be the goal is to use straight up HTML, CSS with Astro because it allows you. Um, and so we created a layout component, which would, you could have your global styling, or if you exclude this, this is gonna be styling scope to this partic uh, particular layout. But we're gonna keep global here. Um, slot here, it's basically um, in React, if you've done, uh, you may have something like children, I can't spell children, but in Astro, they have slot. So for instance, whatever we wrap in our, this is our layout component, whatever we wrap in our layout component, whatever we put as children will be here as slot. And I'll show you if I'll delete this right now, right? And I go back to our pages. We are passing main, which says Tara, which will be our children. But if we take a look in our, let me just do this. Uh, uh, for now, move it around so it's closer. So notice how we have this will be the header, this will be the footer, but we don't see anything in the middle. That's because even though we're passing main, that's because in layout we remove the slot. If I put the slot back, right, that's gonna basically allow us to pass our children. Um, so if I go back to my application. Notice you have, ta-da, this will be the header, this will be the footer. And what's awesome, when you're writing Astro components, we'll create one right now. We're gonna create, uh, let's re, uh, let's delete this one. And we're going to create a component, new file. We're gonna call it header.astro component. And what this is going to be, um, and we'll just do that because that's where we're going to pass our um, JavaScript code uh, that we want to use um, and here we're just going to create header and we're going to say this is going to be our header component and then we're going to import it into our layout here so we're going to say import header from, if I could spell from our components slash header, and we're just gonna use our header here. And the uh, 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 header, perfect. And so now if we take a look, boom, our header component, ta-da. But we want to style this, so we should probably use something cool to style. So you can write just straight up um, CSS, and there's a couple different ways to do it. You could create a file here, you know, styles.css and import it, or you could use the style tags 
And so I could say, let's say body, and we're just going to do background black, and our text is going to be color white, right? And so you will see this reflected in our project. So what's cool is whenever you use the cell tags, um, especially if you don't specify is global, it's going to be scoped to the file that it is used in. Um, and if you have any questions, throw them in the chat, let me know. But um, next step, so we set up our basic Astro project. Let's look into the documentation of adding Tailwind. Tailwind, because Tailwind is awesome and we want to use Tailwind. So why, why Tailwind? because Tailwind is awesome. You don't need to explain yourself to me why I want to use Tailwind. And so the way we're going to add it, we're just going to do NPX Astro add Tailwind. And what's awesome, just like magic, I'm going to stop my project here, Astro add Tailwind, just like magic, it's going to go ahead and create it. And it's going to be amazing. Um, so by the way, uh, don't be shy in the chat. Let me know how you all doing, because I'd love to hear from all of you because to me I want to make sure that I'm not just sitting here typing away by myself but I am answering questions so if you're shy don't be shy it's okay and I realized whenever I switch from share screen to here this one doesn't have music this one has music and I have to figure out why well it did have music until it stopped but it, no matter no matter what it is we're going to keep at it we're going to keep at it. So, um, yes, continuing to install Tailwind. I'm going to click yes. Um, it will create astroconfig.mg.js file. It's going to add all this beautiful stuff. I'm just going to click yes. Success. Added the following integration to your project. So we added Tailwind. So technically, I should be able to use Tailwind in my project. So let me do yarn dev to restart my project. And so in theory, inside global here, not just inside global, uh, but let's go into our header. So let's say we have H1 learning Astro. I should be able to do class because we're just using HTML. Let me delete the header component because it's fine. And we're going to give it a Tailwind class, which is text uh, to Excel, and then text gray. I don't know what other colors they have there. We're just going to do this text gray 200. Um, and if we go back to our application, look at that, it's bigger. Um, and so fantastic. So we could use our Tailwind inline, by the way. But if I go back to layout here, let's say I want to have a main tag. And we're going to put the slot, the slot here. And let's say if you want to have class and we're going to say container. And again, I'm just using Tailwind classes to be able to do uh, HTML, I mean, CSS much easier. And this should kind of center things for us. Let's check it out. Yeah, so you see, ta-da, centered. But you could also do Tailwind classes inside here. Uh, for instance, I could target the main element. And I should be able to do at apply. And then I should be able to li literally call these classes here. In theory, it should work. Uh, so you could decide if you want to style your stuff inline or you want to write your styling within the style. Um, and I think what I would do, typically I would do stuff inline just because it's easier, but you have the flexibility. Notice how this still works. So what I'm going to do though, I'm going to stick to writing all my CSS in line unless it makes sense to do it in the style tags. So container and we're going to MX auto and that's pretty cool. So like really easy to get started. So um, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I spent over $300 on this or $299 or whatever it was Tailwind UI um, and so 
I'm going to just use some Tailwind UI stuff. So let's take a look here. We're going to generate like a very quick, um, let's see if we could like a landing page here. Let's do something quickly. Let's, let's do this, um, code. And I want not react. I'm going to use straight up HTML, right? And so I'm going to copy. So they have their own header. We don't have any kind of like whatever. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go back to my Astra application here and I'm going to go inside index and I'm going to paste it here. And we're going to see what happens. We go to our project and bam, look at that. Our site's all done. Look how easy it was. And this is why I love Astro because look how easily you're able to implement websites with just straight up HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So now that I have this, I'm going to kind of, uh, and let me know if the text is too big. I'll make it smaller so you can see it. We don't need, I'm going to remove this header and I'm going to put it inside my component here, header component. All right, because that looks nice, um, beautiful. Then I'm going to go back to my index component here. And let's see how it looks. So we have our, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Announcing our next round of funding, read more. Let me get like a nice footer from here. Um, and by the way, I'm using Tailwind UI. It's a paid thing, but you could use like Tailwind from anywhere. And this is why I love Tailwind. You could find any te te uh, template and you could use it. There's so many of them. Um, but just for not having you watch me write Tailwind from scratch, I'm just going to use some components here. Let's see what components they have. Hero section, feature section, CTA section, newsletter section, header section, testimonials, blog section, FAQ footer. Let's find a footer. I want a simple footer. Do you have a simple footer? You don't have a goddamn simple footer. I you see? Okay, th this right here. Right here, that looks good. Right here. I'm going to use HTML copy. I'm going to use this one. This is a nice footer right here. And then I'm going to go back into my project and I see some questions here. Hold on a second. Let me get to them in a second here in just a second. Let me create this new file. We're going to call it footer.astro. And again, we're just straight up using HTML, which is fantastic. So now I go back to my index, my layout page, and I'm going to import our footer component. And I swear to God, we could try to make this dynamic in just a second. Let me import footer. Import footer from. Oh God. Everybody's going to see that I can't type to save my life. Footer. Nice. And so now um, if we take a look at our page index, we have our, this is our hero section, right? Um, so we could actually move this like this. Let's go into components and I'll look at the chat in just a second. I promise. I just want to finish this new file. We're going to say hero dot astro ass stro. Well, that's so funny. We're going to paste this in. And so now we're able to go into our index page and import our hero component. And that's found in import import hero components. And so our page should still look the same. So look at our application. Look, we have our menu, we have our footer, and let me know what other section we should add. But first, let me say hello in the chat. Kate Bunch 2010, AstroJS is my favorite front-end framework yet, and it gives me hope to never having to learn another. God, you know what? I am so in agreement with you. Uh, that is so cool. This is like one of the magical things about Astro. I literally just discovered Astro. I actually um, started building uh, Astro Starter. Here, I'll show you here in just a second what it looks like. Um, Astro front end. And what's awesome, this front end, yeah, so I found this template. This is like a project I'm building with Astro. We have a blog. This blog is dynamically generated from my Strapi instance. And so combining like something like Astro and I'm using straight up HTML here with CSS. Um, and this theme, by the way, is by Mark Tiekman. If you want to use this Astro theme, like check him out. It's amazing. But I was kind of surprised how easily I was able to get started 
and build something cool. So for me, for majority of website, I think it's going to be Astro. And then in some particular cases where it's super required, I could use something like Remix or Next.js. Hey, Jonathan, if you're still here, great to see you. How is it going? I'm doing pretty good. Found your channel recently. Super helpful. I'm glad. I'm glad you like what I do here. Uh, you know, I'm, by the way, some random dude on the internet. Uh, you know, so thank you for uh, joining. And if you have any questions or uh, want to see anything or talk about anything, let me know. But I'm going to continue building this out. So we created our footer, we created our header, we created our hero section. Let's say if um, our footer, by the way, has a couple of sections. It has our, it has a navigation, right? It has, wait, this is our footer. Let's have our header. Our header has our, um, it has this thing right here. Then uh, let's see here, product feature market space. So then we have our navigation here. What's awesome, you could make this navigation dynamic. So notice how we have one, two, three, four links. So what I could do here, I could do const, and I'm gonna call it nav for now, nav. And we'll, I'll promise, look, I can't spell const. I'll promise I'll make it even more dynamic. It's gonna be, nav and it's going to be an array of objects and what do we need we need a link so we're gonna say it's gonna have i'm just gonna call it craft craft it's gonna be a link and then we're also going to have a to keep it simple uh text uh text and we have um We'll say home. And then uh, we're going to make a couple more. I thought I had chat GPT installed, but I don't. It's not helping me to do anything. Let me check here something. Chat Paul from uh, back up. Ah, uh, oh, I'm signing in as a wrong user. Um, so it's fine. The reason why I want to use chat GPT because doing stuff like this is annoying. Let me do something, sign out sign out let me go sign in again sign in sign in sign in with github open visual studio code did i sign in hold on set up sync sign in and configure okay um hold on a second yeah i'm signed in Hello, Chad GPT. No, okay, I guess um, whatever. Chad GPT doesn't want to help me, but typing this all over again. So, based on this code below, it would automatically create these objects. So, we're going to do this manually because this is annoying. Uh, we have product and that's going to be the link where we want to link to. Then we have our oops, oops, oops. We have text to um product i promise this is all going to make sense it's all going to make sense we're getting there but basically we're going to make this dynamic uh so eventually i could show you how to dynamically generate your html here uh but also if when we use uh headless cms or if we're getting data from api um we are like halfway there and so we need features because I'm going to try to dynam build this uh, dynamically or some sort of get data from somewhere, features, and then text is going to be features. Um, what else we have here? I know it's boring sometimes to watch people code and I don't care. I don't really care because this is how real coding looks like. People just sit at home and code. And I, the reason I wanted to get back to coding life is because uh, maybe those of you who already work in the industry and what have you, but for us uh, beginners to kind of be able to, um, to be able to see what that process looks like in real time is important because, you know, it's important to kind of understand that this is what coding looks like. It's okay to get stuck. It's okay to get, you know, 
like break things and part of the joy is trying to figure out what the hell are we doing right and so i'm gonna do href uh, i'm gonna do what else what's the last menu item we have company here company and then let's do text company company and do we know how to spell so now that i have this uh array what i could do is i could iterate through the array and add all of these items so what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of copy this and so i'm able to write a javascript within my astro uh, component by just putting in the brackets and what we want to do is we want to nav dot map dot map and uh, we're going to say item and for each item we're going to return our link hold on a second there's a missing bracket somewhere hold on a second let me close the screen this is like the annoying part so map item where is there why, why did you paste it like this that's so annoying href class a this come on come on okay there we go so uh basically we are mapping through our nav items and we're going to return for each nav item we're going to render this a tag and then what we want to do for href we're going to put item dot href and then for company or for the text we're going to put item dot text and notice how we have completion because of typescript that's fantastic so we're basically generating our navigation off this array and we should see it boom it's still here home product feature marketplace and company so now if we wanted to add a navigation easily we could just do it inside our object here right and so i could do href we're going to say about section and then we're going to do text and it's going to say about that's pretty cool so let's take a look here this is great and look at that we have home product teacher marketplace company and about so like we're able to get this data dynamically so um why don't we figure out how can we actually get this navigation from some sort of api and jonathan says couldn't agree more i'm self-taught and seeing the process helps me uh make everything more sense yeah yeah awesome yeah and i'm not like a professional super 10x developer i'm just like some random dude that just enjoys coding and i also became self-taught i started learning to code at the young age of 35 it took me forever because i got my first uh, dev job at 39 and now i'm 43 so I've been working in the industry about four years which is kind of cool i would never like i i wouldn't change anything this is pretty awesome so now let's figure out how we could actually get this uh navigation from some sort of api and the easiest way for me to set up apis if you are all wondering i love using have the cmss and my favorite one is strappy so i could get started by doing npx create strappy app at latest and i'm gonna say backend and i'm gonna just say quick start and if you've never used strappy it is pretty amazing npx creates strappy app of latest what did i do wrong late to what, what is my spelling one creates strap strap p app create no version of the at latest am i like misspelling something but here's the thing like on, on stream like i don't know i'm probably misreading something but you go to strappy docs i i don't know how i misspelled that that makes no sense to me but uh go to strappy you go to quick start you're gonna cr oh create hold on i want to use npm npx creates trappy app at latest i swear to god i typed everything correctly npx create trappy app at oh i don't know how to spell latest thank you 
thank you all. I'm going to call it backend though. So my spelling gets the best of me backend. So this is going to create a backend that we could use. And what's awesome about Strapi here, um, if I go to strapi.io, strapi.io, we're able to create a backend in minutes and it comes with this admin area where we could create stuff and manage stuff. So we're going to quickly create something to manage our navigation items dynamically. And so once Strapi loads, I'll show you what it is. But for now in our um, Astra app, we created our footer, our header, our hero section. So the goal is going to be like, let's populate our menu items with the dynamic data that we'll get from an API. So my Strapi application just loaded. And once everything starts, you'll be asked to create a your first admin user at strappy.io we're gonna say monkey one two three four for password because it's a password that's easy to remember especially when i'm locally working here okay it works let's start so perfect so done my api is done and i could easily now get data from my api so for instance th there's many ways of doing it i'm gonna do it in the most simplest way for now, uh, just so we have something to get data, but this is probably not the way I would do it, but I'm gonna create a new collection type called uh, menu items, right? And I'm gonna item, it should be singular. Uh, and then I'm gonna click continue. And by the way, for display name, you could write it human readable item, uh, but here it's gonna do it the way it's supposed to. Click continue. And looking at our Astro app, we have href text. We probably also may want to have, is it uh, external internal link? So we could add a Boolean, uh, but for now we'll keep it simple. So text, simple text, we do href, add another field, we'll do another text, which is going to be title or text. That's what we have. And then we'll also add another field that we could use later. But we're going to use a Boolean uh, is external and by default we're going to make it false finish and click save so boom i just created my nav items and there's another way of doing it but we're going to do it this way for now for keep it simple and so inside my content manager i'm going to recreate my items and uh, let me just do this for now for a second here let me move this because I'm gonna do it here so I could see my ah ah what is happening um uh, um let me do this here move it here uh that 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 looks terrible but so we need to create um uh, one of these and text is going to be home uh, home save publish you could also disable the publish um, let me do that for so content type builder under menu items here edit uh, I, I, I advanced settings draft and publish this way you don't have to constantly hit publish it will automatically publish All right, so let's go back to our content manager. So let's create another entry. We have uh, products, product. We call it product, so I'll call it products. And text is product and save. Let's add another one. We have features. I guess, to be honest, this, this, this should be products. That makes more sense. And then let's create another, create new entry. Uh, this is going to be slash features. And we're going to call it features. Save. Let's create another one. We have marketplace. Yep. Create marketplace. Hey, Trisha, what's up? It's like, good Lord, Trisha. I can't believe you're not sleeping. You should be sleeping. What are you, what are you doing? It is the weekend though, so you must be partying. That's what it is. You're probably like watching some cool shows. 
um, you know, reading some good books, 100%. Um, Trish is awesome. By the way, if you have ever seen the Next.js Strappy starter, uh, she's the one that created the CSS for it. Looks beautiful. Uh, let's add another item here. Um, create new entry. We're gonna add company and save. Trish, you gotta create some cool uh, designs for me for my uh, Astro project that I, I'm, I'm gonna be building a lot of uh, projects in Astro because Astro is just pretty freaking awesome. Let's do create another anti, uh, about, I'm just gonna say about. So check this out. I know it took forever uh, to do all this, all of this, which is fine. But what I'm gonna do now, check this out. We have this collection type which has a bunch of these items and I wanna make this endpoint accessible to my application. So I'm gonna go to settings, go under roles, click public. I'm gonna select menu items, find all. You could enable find one. I don't know why you would, but we'll just do find. Um, and so basically what I'm able to do is once I enable it, I'm able to go to insomnia Check this out. Under Insomnia, I'm able to go API menu items, click send, and boom, I have my menu items. So now let's put this to use. You know our backend works. That is fantastic. Yeah, they'll be awesome, Trish. Um, I'll definitely, we should do some like peer programming, peer projects. I uh, just let me know what you want to build and you could build a design and I'll um, and then I'll like use your design and together we'll build like some cool website like whatever you decide and we'll use Astro and HTML and CSS because sometimes React is too much you don't need too much so good our API works um, so now what we want to do is what's cool with Astro here's the cool part with Astro I'm going to kind of Bring this down. Ah, ah, let me close this completely. What's cool with Astro now, within this gray matter here, right? This is what's called gray matter. I'm able to actually write JavaScript uh, to get data. Const response, response equals. And we're gonna do await, await. And I could straight up just use fetch. And then our fetch is going to take this endpoint uh, right here. And when you don't provide any secondary articles, it will automatically make the get request. Then we're going to do const data equals await um, response dot JSON. Dude, it's so annoying that my, my um, what should we call it? Autopilot doesn't want to help me at all today. Console log data, which is perfectly fine. And so in theory, we should get this data from inside our header. Um, let's actually test out that theory. So go back to our terminal. And by the way, I don't think I'm using, I was running my front end. By the way, here's one cool thing that I wanted to show you. Um, I'm gonna go to a different app because I don't wanna type it from scratch. Go to GitHub, go to Astro Starter here. We'll go to Astro Starter, like check this out. Um, in my root of my project, I have uh, this. And this has a package called Concurrency which allows you to start both your strappy backend or whatever the hell you want. You could decide here via script, like what you want, but you could literally have a command that starts both projects at the same time. So I'm gonna implement it here. I'm gonna go inside here, new file. I'm going to add pack, oh wait, do we have, I'm not in, hold on a second. Let me go in the root of my folder, control code. So now that I have two projects here, so notice we have our back end with Strap. We have our front end with Astro. I'm going to create package.json. And I'll look at the comments in a second. I'm going to paste this in. Just make sure everything here looks fine. 
And now what I'm able to do, I'm able to do yarn just to install concurrency. And if I want to start both my Astro project and my Strappy project, I'll just run yarn dev and look, it's going to start both projects together. Nice. So now I have my back end and my front end running. And what I want to do is go back to my application here. Let me, where's my, I have too many things open here. Let's go, uh, let's close this. Uh, let's keep the documentation open. Let's Astro front end, that's something different. Uh, so refresh. So notice we're getting back our array and where's this array coming from? It's coming from our strappy application uh, that we did. Uh, hey, uh, Peter, which node uh, are you running? Um, because for me, it worked and I'm using node 18. Uh, oh, wait, you're using uh, Remix Starter. Hold on a second. Um, that, that should also work. Uh, hold on a second. GitHub, since you're here and you asked the question. Uh, GitHub. So let me go to Remix Strappy Starter. So code copy. I will come back to our oh, adventure in a second. Let me do this. Shell new new window. CD temp. I'm going to paste that and I'm going to call it test remix starter. I'm cloning it and I'm using node 18, I believe. Uh, and I, NVM, uh, we, uh, I forgot what, how do you check it? No, no, that's not it. But NVM, let me redo, uh, redo this. Use LTS. Uh, what the, what are you doing to me? How do I, uh, NVM, I can't spell. Use LTS. I think this is what I have set by default. I have uh, this version, Node 18. So I just got the project going. Um, let me make this a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to CD into test remix starter LS. And then I think you could run yarn setup to install all the dependencies. So this should install both my Strappy dependencies and my Remix dependencies. And I'll come back to Astro in a second. It's just I want to, uh, while Peter's here and he asks the questions. So if you ask questions, of course, I will take precedence to your question. And then we'll come back to our exploring uh, Astro. Uh, how do you set up Node.js to work with the Strappy Remix block project on your previous video? I have to install the latest version of Node. So if using Node 20, it probably won't work because for now, um, I think for now the project is on Node 18. So if I go to backend, right, and I go to package JSON, um, hold on a second, not backend package JSON, you want to be between Node version uh, 14 and 18. So if you're using like 20, it's probably not going to work. And currently, same thing for front end. Uh, let's see, package JSON. Uh, yeah, so. For this one, anything above uh, 18 works. So you want to make sure that you are using Node 18. And this is why I love using NVM because it allows you to install whatever uh, version you want. So I would look into installing NVM and that way you could install multiple Node versions uh, and you could switch very easily. So for instance, I could do NVM install 16. And it's going to go ahead and install 16. And I could easily switch versions by doing NVM use 16 and boom, I'm using node 16, but for my project to work, I am used, I want to use, uh, 18. So I would switch 18. 
um, boom, and now I'm using ATN. And once uh, you have the correct version, it should work. Um, by the way, let me go into code here. Um, and then in my backend, you wanna make sure that you go ahead and you set up your environmental variables here. Um, and I did showcase in the video that you could check out, but it should work for you. Um, new file dot env and then we want to do the same thing in the front end we want to go to in the example here copy and then we want to do new file dot env paste we need to add a uh, strappy key uh, here so uh, submit form strap. actually uh, we don't need the key for now this should work so once that's done the next command I would do is inside the back end I want to see the data so I would run yarn strappy import uh, file dot, dot seed that's going to import my data and I don't remember if I set up concurrently to start everything together. I think, I think, yeah. And so now, once everything is done from the root of the folder, I should be able to yarn the dev ls. Oh, see in the root of the folder, yarn dev, and that should start both the remix and the strappy application. Yep, here goes, Strappy. I'm going to be asked to create my user. Email.com, test user, test user. I swear to God, it said test user, test user. I can't type to say test user. Oh, it doesn't like the fact that I don't have a number. All right, that works. And uppercase, are you kidding me? This is too complex. Monkey, one, two, three, four for the win. So, um, so notice that my strappy did start for me. And because I did data import, all my data is here. And then uh, my remix application should also be running. So if I go to localhost 3000, boom. So it works. So most likely you're, I know this was like a long, workaround uh but notice that it works and that's because i'm using node 18 so for you peter i know it took the most ridiculous long time to answer because i actually wanted to test it out make sure nothing broke but yeah just make sure you're running um a node 18 and that should work to you and if you have any additional questions let me know um hey hannah uh hannah anna what's up how are you today uh great to see you uh we just uh building stuff with um astro and what we're trying to do right now is to, we created, uh, hold on a second, I have to leave things open. Um, let me open the project that we were running, I think. So we just created a Astro project. If you've never used pro uh, Astro, it's pretty cool. You could learn more about it um, by going to um, Astro Build. And it's a framework that allows you to create websites really quickly with using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So if you don't know like React or something like that, you don't need it. You could just, with Astro, build cool websites. And so we kind of started building a website. Uh, currently, we have our index page, which has one hero component. And these are Astro components. But what's cool about Astro components, if you take a look at the hero section, it's all just... Uh, straight up HTML. So if you know HTML, you're halfway there. Um, and right now what we're doing, we have our hero, uh, I'm sorry, we have our header component and inside our uh, header component, we have a navigation that we're creating dynamically by taking this um, navigation array and we are mapping through the array and that's what's generating our top navigation here. So if I delete an item from the array here and restart my application, yarn dev, you're gonna see that in our front end, no, notice that item disappeared. 
And what we did to go a step farther, I quickly used uh, Strappy. I must have closed it. Uh, it's fine. Local. No, no. I want to go local. Local host 1337. I use Strappy, which allows you to build an API like really, really quickly. Um, and what I did is within my Strappy application, at strappy.io, my password, we created an account. Within my Strappy application, I created a collection type called menu items, and I have a bunch of made menu items already available. I exposed the endpoint through settings under public menu items. I said, allow us to get fine. And here's the endpoint that we hit, and that's gonna return that JSON data. So if I use something like Insomnia here, and I go to that endpoint here, boom, we get our data. So now that we know our backend works in our uh, Astra application, we're basically making a very simple fetch request. And this was probably should be in a try catch, but we're not gonna worry too much about it right now. We're just going with the basics and we're getting that data back and we should have the output. I'm kind of curious why it's not showing up because both my Strappy and Astra application, wait, hold on a second. LS, uh, yarn dev, that should, start my yep yeah so we are getting so you could see this console log here that's coming from this console log and also we are getting the data so now what we want to do instead of having this hard-coded array we want to get our items from our uh response that we got so i'm gonna say const nav items and it's equal to data dot actually i forgot what it looked like data dot uh that's just an ar uh, array here yep i think it's data dot data and so if we put nav items here um, it's complaining because we're using typescript so for now i'm going to put type any um, and for now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to console log the items because I don't remember exactly what they look like in the response. So here we're going to put return. And we're going to console. And if anybody has questions, let me know if I'm moving too fast. Let me know if I'm moving too slow. There's nothing I could do about it. Um, our items hello everybody hello hey cameron what's up how you doing um Usman saying hello yeah i'm exploring uh astro right now uh it's pretty cool I, I i'm actually like really in love with astro um i don't know why because it's awesome astro is awesome because it allows you to do uh just straight up like html and css this is what we have so far and i'm cheating i'm using tailwind uh ui uh library and i'm just like straight up using html and that's i guess like the cool part about astro is that you're able to use straight up html css and javascript um so um our items so norse uh, we have access via attributes and we have text and ref and so for our dynamic thing here uh item dot attributes dot h e r e f if we take a look here boom look at that our items so what we could do to make it nicer we could destructure this we could do here const and we're going to do um text and href and that's coming from our item dot attributes attributes and um if we just remove this and remove this and remove this our dynamic navigation boom right here and what's awesome check this out home product features market space components com com i can't read company about we're getting that data from our strappy application here so if i go to content manager i'm like you know what actually like let's 
uh, change it up a little bit. Let's go to a content type builder. And here, add another thing called uh, another Boolean. And we're going to say is show in menu. Show in menu. And we'll say that by default is going to be true. Finish and save. So let's go to all of our menu items. Check this out. You could go here. Let's go home. Show in menu. True. Save. Uh, go back. Go to about. We want to say true. Save. Go to um, marketplace. Let's say true. Save. So we have a couple of items that are going to be true. And now inside our strappy, not strappy, inside, inside of our astro, we could do like an if statement. What, what the hell did I call that goddamn thing? Did I say show a menu? My shirt show memory. Show in menu. So I could do here, have a, a the structure show in a menu. And I could say if show in menu return this else return null. And then in theory, instead of returning all the menu items, it should just return all the things that have show and menu as true. And because this is a statically built site, I will have to restart it. Um, and by the way, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, I will try to answer them. Uh, otherwise, we'll continue building stuff. I have too many windows open here. All right, so our application restarted. And boom, look, home, marketplace, about. And so within my content manager, if I go to meta, uh, let's say featured, we want to show in menu, we click true, save. Um, Yarn dev. Boom, we start. And now when we take a look, refresh, look at that. We have our dynamic navigation, which is pretty awesome. So um, what should we do next? Should we make this hero section get content dynamically? Um, or not or should we add but man i just love how easily you're able to add stuff like like especially if you're using a component library and again we're using straight up html like check this out let's let's find um let's do um blog blog here blog page like check this out html code right copy go to my astro thing right astro we're gonna add a new page uh, actually, we'll do it in index, but we're going to make it a new component. I'm going to do a new file. I'm going to call it blog, featured blog. Let's call it featured. Fe featured blog dot astro. And then I'm going to paste this code in because we're just able to use straight up HTML. And check this out. I go into my index and in the layout, I'm going to put whatever you're going to put. We're going to put featured blog and look at this we have our blogs our feature blog nice it's there although i don't like how that one looks though let me see i thought they had like you know what let me let me let me go back there preview yeah this is not not cool i like this one this one is better this one is better let me copy this code html copy let me go back I'm going to go inside my featured blog. Delete all of this. Add this. Um, and then go back. Look at this. This is awesome. Nice. Look at that. Look how easy it is to do stuff with Astro. Uh, especially if you're using a template. And again, we could make this dynamic following the same process like we did in the header. Uh, and of course, like you might do this try catch. Maybe you move this uh, to env variable. There's all this stuff we could do. But for now, like we're going to take this simple approach. So uh, one thing that I want to show you, though, 
is if we do have a uh, blog page and we're gonna have dynamic routes, we could do that in um, Astro. So what I'm gonna do here inside, uh, inside pages, I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it post. And then inside the post, I'm gonna make a new file and it's going to use these brackets and whatever I put inside here, we're gonna say slug. This is gonna be our dynamic uh, route. And so I'm gonna say, um, one, two, three, one, two, three. So now I'm gonna say, uh, H1, this should, should be single post. Okay, we're just gonna keep it like that. So now in theory, I could navigate to post with whatever slug is, and we should see it. Um, Oh yeah, that's a good good uh, tip. So hold on a second. That that that's awesome. So if I uh, let me go back here, I love it. I love it. Thank you, Cameron. That is fantastic. So what Cameron is saying in our header um, where where we are here instead of doing console.log data like this. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to do uh, con here, I gotta share it here. Uh, console, console.log and uh, console dir, and then console dir, we pass our data, and then we pass uh, depth. No. Um, hold on a second. We are here. Oh, you cannot put comments in front. Whatever. I like sometimes put comments. Do can you put comments here? No, you can't. It only expects two arguments. Okay, so that's I wanted to put a comment so I know where I'm at. Let me do this. Just so, because uh, I could have also erased the other uh, console, but just so this way you could see the difference. So we take a look here. I gotta scroll down. Yeah, so notice the difference. You see how, like Cameron was saying, by using just console log, we're getting this and we're not able to see the rest of the nested objects. By doing console.dir, look at this. We have everything, which is really helpful because now I could use this to help me like uh, do some type scripting, right? So for instance, we know that um, we're getting our item, but we had to do item any, but if we wanted to fix it, we could do enter face. Some people, I, I still don't know why type over interface or just bun, you know, dude, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that cool. I'm not that cool, Cameron. Not that cool. In, in, what, what, what? What do you, what do you, what, what do you, what do you talk about? Cannot find name interface. Am I, am I, no, you'd say interface, right? Oh, and then you give it a name, menu I, item, menu item, right? And because we had that, oh my God. This is so annoying. Look at this. When I copy and paste from there, that's annoying. That's annoying. So whatever. Uh, that that's very annoying. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. 
And so we know we have our me me menu item has ID, which is a string. Then we have our attributes. And by the way, there's a way to dynamically get all these items from Strappy, which I made a, I wrote a blog post and I'll make a video about how to get the dynamic Strappy types and TypeScript. But for now, we're going to do it manually. href equals string. I'm really offended that my, um, good Lord, that my, mine, um, what the hell is it called? Autopilot is not helping me at all today. This is annoying. Um, is external. Is it Boolean, right? I'm, I'm a noob to TypeScript. Created at is a string. And then, uh, yeah. And, uh, Updated, updated at equals a string, and then show in menu equals boolean. I'm really offended. Copilot doesn't love me, and so now instead of any, I should be able to use nav. The hell that I call it, dude. Nav menu item. Let's nav item makes more sense. Nav item. And now, and now look at that. That doesn't complain anymore. And I'm able to get all the types, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's a little bit of TypeScript right there. Uh, uh, dude, all these tricks. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me copy this. Control copy. I'm like, dude, Cameron, you gotta come on stream, teach me some, some stuff, some shortcuts. Uh, to the right of the one and do shift plus, shift plus on the right. I'm using, by the way, I'm using Mac. Command plus, no, not command plus. Option, no. Wait, 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 something. Oh, dude, what the hell did I do? I don't know what it is. I, down there and do shift plus alt. Do shift plus alt down. So shift plus, is it on the Mac? What the hell would it be? Oh shit, what is it doing? Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm, all these shortcuts are blowing my mind. I'll have to definitely make an effort and learn some of them. Uh, totally messed that up. I don't know on what it would be. I don't have a shift. I don't have the alt button. I'm on the Mac uh, using this keyboard, which is amazing. Um, anyway, so let's not get too far of ourselves. So we figured out this trick, console dir to see all the nested objects. That's pretty awesome. So what should we do uh, next? Should we, oh yeah, we were gonna talk about uh, dynamic pages. So this should be a single post. So in my application now, if I go to post slash some slug, um, we're gonna get this error. Why? Because uh, all is option, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll play with it later. So the reason why we're getting this uh, issue in Astro is because we need to generate all of these uh, kind of slugs ahead of time, including the data. So we need to use something called get static paths. And so if you don't remember something, what do you do? What do you do when you don't remember stuff? Anybody, what's the answer? You go to documentation. That's the only one answer. That's the correct answer. And then you're gonna search, get static prop, paths, props, blah, blah, blah. Um, get static, what the? I swear to God, get static path, get static path. Thank you. And so let's do this. So what we need to do is we need to use this function here 
and we need to return all of these items so we could return props and i'm gonna say um text equals hello and then we also want to return um our uh paths and because we called it slug this would be slug and then the path would be whatever you want i'm just gonna say some slug right and so now uh we also have access to uh i forgot what the hell it uses hold on a second i gotta go uh, front end source i'm just looking something up because i'm too lazy to Master starter components what is it cta no card uh yeah astro props that's what it is um so we have access through astro props i could see uh text and then i'm gonna say text and that text is gonna come from here so now we should not get that error that i had originally so going back see some slug this should be a single post hello so now we're able to do that so if we wanted to dynamically um get this data for our post let's do that let's create like a very simple uh card for our posts um dude that's gonna be like I'm just thinking, I mean, this is going to turn into a whole blog site. Let's start one step at a time and we'll see how far we get here. I'll stream for like another 20, 30 minutes. And if you have any questions, oh yeah, nice. So you, uh, let, last tip for the day, install uh, VS Code extension called Pace JSON. Um, I might actually have it installed. Last tip, I'm all for these tips. Uh, dude, I love it. And dude, Cameron, anytime you want to jump in and, um, oh, is it this one? Pace Jason. I'm assuming this is the one you talked about. Pace Jason as code. You can paste any Jason and it could turn it into TypeScript interface automatically. So install. Paste Jason. Wait, 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 wait. That's magic. Are you what, what? Wait, copy. Oh, you got it. Wait, you got to do it like that. But anyway, I was going to say, Cameron, anytime you want to live stream, give me some coding advice and that'll be amazing. If you want, uh, invitations always open, but dude, this cool extension. Nice. Uh, so hold on a second. Copy. Oh, interesting. So I'm kind of curious here. Let me. Um, yeah, but you need to have the JSON file. Uh, that's kind of, but still cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Nice. So what's awesome is like, for instance, I could do something like this. I get the data. This is coming in JSON. I could copy it. Um, and then I could go in VS Code file new file test dot dot json dude i spelled it wrong it's test dot json i'm just gonna save it on desktop for now create file and then i could paste this json and then what was the command for it copy paste okay so i could do shift copy copy what I did install it I have a uh, copy copy peacock, peacock. hold on a second I have probably interfering extension oh I'm just kind of curious with this extension. It's kind of cool. I'm not giving up. Oh, you got to select it. 
I'm like an idiot. For those of you who are wondering. Go pee, copy. Copy. I must have an interfering like Docker image, airlines, peacock, copy for it, line down, output. Same thing in your clipboard, you don't need to copy. Oh, okay. So, and then I could go to. Uh, uh, would it paste into Astro? I'm kind of curious. I've never tried it. Does it have to be a TS um, component? I mean, I'm going to try it anyway. Paste. Paste JSON as types. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, what are you? Too many questions. JavaScript. Uh, oh, I see, I see, I see. I see what you mean. Paste as types, select TypeScript. Top level. Oh, that's sick. That is sick. Look at that. Dude. Pro tip right there. Yeah, use TypeScript, not JS. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense right there. I got it, I got it. I think there's a... Uh, like a delay too but it works amazing and so um i mean i i will create like if i were doing it probably i would create like a folder like types um and then put all that stuff in there that is sick that is sick so we have attributes show menu oh that is that is that is sick so let me let me do that source Public source. We could do new uh, in source new folder types, and then we're gonna say new file types types dot ts, and then we could do p paste paste us code. Paste types, paste as code. Dude, that's, that's sick. And then I could import it into, and use it for instance, like um, attributes. Um, I could call this nav items, uh, but this is already using it. Yeah, I mean like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could adjust the name and like whatever, but I, so this could be nav, nav items. Wait, 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 hold on a second. This, this is attributes, not nav. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So yeah, I mean the naming, like you would have to like give better naming. Like for instance, like whatever the stuff you're doing, it, then you just do it, response JSON as top level. Uh, I think you just use GQL type gen for APIs, but this works in a pinch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So GraphQL type gen, but if you wanted to, um, speaking of which, here, let me just share this. Um, this is what I did um, because I don't use GraphQL. Uh, uh, type strappy typed front end strappy next yes no types yeah so what i did here in let me just open it we're gonna have this question about strappy and types like why not because i think we made some prog progress with astro basically the lesson with astro is it's super awesome and so easy to build things with html css especially if you're using something like a like a UI library which gives you HTML that you just copy and paste and like like this is what we have within like literally three minutes I think it was like 20 minutes of me talking um, and if you have questions about Astro we'll get back to it but I do want to showcase 
this kind of approach to um, using TypeScript with Strapi, but not using GraphQL. So what I did, because like on the back end, we have our types that are generated from Strapi. And so what I did is I created my front end project and I created this um, script to be able to copy my types to my front end project automatically from Strapi. And then on my front end, under um, types, types TS here, this is something um, JS helped me with. Hey, Jose, what's up? How you doing? It's hard to keep up with all the new frameworks. Astro though, like I like it. This is why I love Astro because you literally could just use HTML and CSS. And it just makes it very easy to create websites with HTML, CSS, and a little JavaScript, like super easy. So I would highly recommend Astro. I think I, it's a, it, it's important. So check this out. Um, I was kind of talking to Cameron here. Um, so uh, TS or not TS, um, JS from Strapi, he created like this little uh, helper uh, type methods, which allow you to get Strapi types. Um, I'll share this repo here in the chat here in a second um, that you could check out for anyone that wants to. I'll make a video about this as well. But now what I'm able to do here on my front end, basically in my app, let's go to page. I'm able to import those Strapi uh, types for API response collection, API response data. And what I'm able to do is use it, pass the content ID, and it will uh, give me all those types automatically. And so I'm doing for my post, I'm able to use API response data, pass the name of the content or collection type or whatever the ID is called. And I'm able to get all that typing automatically, which is like, it's magical. Uh, so not using GraphQL. And I'm assuming in the future, when we have the SDK, this is gonna be much better, but I just wanted to share that for anybody interested, but um, this is cool. So we're able to uh, like that, we'll come back to that. So quick recap, what did we do? We created a, we created a project with Astro, right? Uh, which is amazing, which really was really easy to set up. Once we created our project with Astro, we realized that for our project, looking at the layout page, you're literally able to just write straight up HTML. Although this looks like a, React component, it is not, it is an Astro component. What's awesome about Astro components, if we go to this header, um, outside of this JavaScript in what uh, this area is called front matter in Astro, which gets, once you build your application, and I'll show you that in a second, all of this gets stripped away. You're only going to be left with HTML. And so notice how this is just straight up HTML. And the way I created uh, and inside this HTML, you're able to write the dynamic code. So here we are iterating through the nav items and we are rendering those items. So if you look at the page here, this is dynamically generated. And where are we getting the data? We're getting the data by making um, basic get request to a API endpoint that we set up with Strapi. And so if I wanted to add dynamically a new item, I'm going to say uh, new item. I'm going to call it a uh, new item. All I have to do is click save, rebuild my application because um, this is a static site generation. And um, what you're going to see once it refresh, look, we have our nav item. What's awesome, if you inspect the page, even though we use JavaScript inside our um, application, it's just gonna return HTML. But here's the interesting thing, like notice how we have this navigation menu that's showing up. It would be nice if we could 
write some JavaScript to um, access this. And we could straight up write vanilla JavaScript uh, to accomplish that. So inside our header, we have our navigation. And because I've been using React for forever, um, this is actually a good exercise to practice vanilla of vanilla JavaScript. So um, let me just make sense here. So we have our nav. Where's our background? Mobile navigation. So on large screens, it's hidden. Um, and then on smaller screen, uh, you'll see it. I'm just kind of trying to make sense of this. There's got to be a class that controls it. So nav, large hidden, and small shows up, fixed, inset, hidden. Let me just delete this for a second. Large hidden, let's do, um, what do you, we want this um, let's do just hidden and then large hidden would always be large hidden would always be hidden yep and then inspect so what we could do on this click we could just toggle hidden versus non-hidden um, Role model fixed. I'm just uh, fixed. I just want to see what else here. Nav button open main menu. Well, let's give this button an ID. ID toggle. I don't even know if this is, do you spell toggle with an O? I think you do toggle, but then you could also, what the hell? Toggle, toggle. I don't know how to spell toggle. Hey, take care, Cameron. Uh, let's see here. So what we want to do so what's cool, by the way, here, like in Astro, and again, I haven't done JavaScript in forever, you're able to uh, write your JavaScript in line, which is awesome. I, what, what, the, what, so GitHub to use GitHub pull request. I don't know what it's doing, but uh, basically, if we had to uh, accomplish this, um, we would write some JavaScript. I know that we have to target the button, get the button, get an on-click listener, so we could listen when that button is clicked. Um, and so because here's an issue with using React and Next.js all time. It makes all that stuff so easy that I literally forget vanilla JavaScript which is perfectly fine because I'm going to go to chat open AI because chat GPT, GPT, GPT is going to take all of our jobs and I could do this, like check this out. I could copy this. I could go to chat GPT and say, write in line. You could even misspell stuff, but maybe I shouldn't write inline java script that will add on the click event listener to this button this button i just don't remember exactly how to do it but what's cool, like a lot of people, oh, Chad GPT, is it not working? The ch ch what, what? Is Chad GPT broken? Hello, Chad GPT. Hello. 
Dude, ChatGPT is broken. ChatGPT 4 is broken. ChatGPT 3, are you... Yeah, ChatGPT 3.5 is working. Okay, great. Um, create... Create a... Uh, inline JavaScript that adds event listener to this uh, button. Um... No, 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 never mind. Don't, don't do this. This is not good right here. This on click my function. I don't think that's a good pattern. Hey, Northern Chip, good to see you. Um, don't, don't do that. Uh, don't use, don't use on click target button via javascript and add event listener listener yeah so this makes sense right here so that's the exactly and by the way some people are like oh chat gpt is good like the only reason i know this is correct is because i know this is what i was looking for i just didn't want to remember it but here's the thing what's awesome with uh, astro is that you're able to write your JavaScript in line and then um, yeah so maybe uh, whatever we'll fix that so now that we basically we are using get element by ID we are getting this button and we adding an event listener that when we click that button it's going to give us an alert so let's see if that's true in astro so basically i want to get back to using vanilla javascript with astro because it's been a minute this is directly an editor link what do you mean by that um i'm not sure what you mean by that uh so now when we click Notice we're getting the alert. So now on click, what we want to do is we want to change the class for this div from hidden to visible. Control copy. So we want to toggle this class. Let's add an ID here because just to make it easier. nav mo mobile nav and i don't just remember off the top of my head this is shameful i don't know javascript anymore god damn it no no i don't know i don't remember exactly how to um manipulate the dom with javascript uh by the way like it's no big deal because i know what i'm looking for and this is like why um using chat gpt makes sense um Add a select, what the hell did I call it? Mobile nav by ID and when click the button toggle, toggle class hidden on and off see what it gives us so yeah we get element by id and that, that's straightforward and by the way like the reason why it's perfectly fine to forget stuff because i know what i'm looking for like i know that this is legit code here uh because uh, i've done it before just been a while so if we're able to do this we're gonna do this so now we getting that we are getting access to the div. Uh, hold on a second, where did it go? Nav items hidden. Yep, we're getting access to the mo mobile net menu div. 
And then we're gonna toggle this class using mobile. Oh my God, my computer froze, Jesus Christ. I might be kicked off stream, my computer, why? Why are you freezing? Don't freeze. I had this, I don't know, like my MacBook, my M1 mini started like, like losing memory, like, or running out of memory. I, I think too many tabs open. Oh, we already did this. We wanna do mobile nav, control toggle. We could remove the alert, uh, mobile nav, if, if mobile nav and so this should in theory work because uh, we are targeting the button we're targeting the appropriate div and we are um, changing the class from hidden to non-hidden so let's see it moment of truth okay refresh yep so nice so check this out it works we're able to toggle it on and now we want to be able to click the close button and close the menu so let's find out in html where that button exists and this, this isn't this beautiful like whatever javascript you write here in astro gets stripped away when you build your project and then you're able to write JavaScript to manipulate the DOM with vanilla JavaScript here. And you write the rest of the code with using straight up HTML and CSS and Tailwind. And I love the simplicity of Astro. And this is why like, I love building stuff with Astro. That is so insanely awesome. That is, that is so cool. That, that is so cool and um, pretty amazing. And so here's like a site I'm building right now render uh I'll, I'll show you because it's live yes i'm not updating my payment because i want to use render free tier i don't want to pay anything but here's the front end for this uh, project so this is built with html css and javascript straight up javascript and what i love about this is for certain projects there's no point of reaching for react you know what i'm saying and the back end is obviously strappy like this logic here it's just straight up vanilla javascript and that's the power of astro sometimes reaching for react reaching for remix or next.js it's such an overkill and some will say you could use react with astro yes you can and uh but if you want to find a way to practice your basic javascript vanilla javascript just build Astro apps with vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I think that's my, like, for me to use Astro is, the caveat is, you're not allowed to use React with Astro. This is for me to re-remember how to use vanilla JavaScript. So anytime I build stuff with Astro, I'm going to always use vanilla JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. If I need to use React, I'll just use Next.js or Remix, another two greatest uh, things. So mobile nav button i'm kind of curious um so we added so here's uh the toggle button don't tell me there's two buttons oh there are two buttons there's a there's a i'm gonna redo this toggle close no no this is toggle open because I'm pretty sure there's toggle close button some here. So button toggle open. Let's do, we're going to call this open. Open. Uh, actually, you want to say open button so you kind of know what the hell it is. Open button. Open button. open button and then we're going to have const close button equals document dot get element by id and it's going to be toggle toggle closed
that's kind of interesting here because it's not the same button. That's kind of annoying. It's no big deal. We'll figure it out. So toggle close. Let's find that toggle close button. So button. Nav menu. Where's our nav menu? So I bet there's a button here somewhere that's going to say close. Background, hidden menu, open states. ID mobile nav class hidden. Mobile nav. Where's the button? Button here. Close menu. We're going to add our toggle closed. Toggle closed. And now here, are we going to. That's kind of annoying that for each one I have to add an event. I know I could loop through a bunch of different items and add an event listener to each, but we're going to save that for later. So we're going to say close because this is, seems to me kind of repeatable. Re, re, hold on. What am I doing? Repeatable. Like I'm repeating myself too much, but you could just do this uh, for simplicity. We could always refactor close button. Close button. Add event listener. Did I accidentally remove a bracket there? Yes, I did. Watch out for those brackets. They're going to get you. All right, so we have open button. We have close button. Add event listener. Um, and so... It should work now. So if we go back to our application, we have open. Close doesn't work. Let me double check that we're getting this. Um, classless. Hold on, let me do this. Class list method uh, methods in javascript does it have remove so we have uh, hold on a second class list length class list item replace contains toggle remove so yeah it has remove so what we could do here we could do remove hidden add and then this one will change to add and maybe also because I didn't rebuild my application that's why it didn't work originally but let's see here because it is statically built site uh, refresh all right so huh Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. This has got to be add, remove hidden, remove hidden. And this is going to be add. No wonder it didn't work, you jerk. Because it was already there. Why would you add the class that already exists? So now, look at that. Uh, closing doesn't work. Why? Why? I thought, am I not targeting the right button? Add list, add hidden. So let me just test this with alert. Close button, button clicked. I wonder if it will. So it's not, not even doing nothing. Let me see what this button is. Button, 
toggle close ID. Yeah, so we have the ID. We are... Oh, spelling guys. Did you see that? And girls, did you see the difference? Look at this. I said closed, but it should be, but I named it closed. That's why it didn't work. So now it should work because of spelling. Spelling is going to be the death of me, you guys and girls. I don't know. So basically like Astro is freaking awesome. I know like I'm doing things slow because it's been a while since I did vanilla JavaScript and did anything uh, HTML. Look at that. Perfect. We have uh, amazing website here and here's the cool part it's um the coolest part about it is that with astro you're able to use straight up html you could use react but don't you could use straight up html why don't you want to use react because if you keep using react all the time like this example shows you'll forget vanilla javascript so my challenge for myself is to use astro and to use uh html CSS and straight up vanilla JavaScript like we're doing here. Uh, so basically we created a header component using HTML styled with Tailwind. Then we grabbed our open button, our close button using get element by ID. We grabbed our nav where we want to change the class that's going to show it or hide it. And then we implemented two event listeners on the two buttons that we have and that added the functionality. So now we're able to open, close, open, close. And what's awesome when this builds, right? This is just all static HTML generated here, which is freaking amazing. I mean, this is really, really awesome. And here's like a project that I'm building with Astro that's kind of a little bit beyond like a basic site uh, but good lord this is so cool I love Astro I love Astro I'm using render for free that's why I'm refusing to change my card um, nice and so I think this is good for this I know like a lot of people jumping in later in the stream I thank you but I think this is good enough I uh, will just do a quick recap before we finish so uh, basically we started building uh, through this journey of learning Astro, we uh, started our basic Astro project. And when we started our project, we basically um, created an index page. We have our layout component, which is basically straight up HTML. When you look at these header and footer, they look like React components, but they're Astro components. What's awesome about Astro components, if you go into our header component that we just did, you notice that we are using straight up HTML. You see, it's all HTML. And what's awesome, Astro allows you to write JavaScript inside your HTML that's going to be parsed out once the static HTML is generated and we're able to add functionality to our application with vanilla JavaScript like we did here via the script text and then you could also do local um, style by using style styles tag here style is it styles or style style tag I think style tag and so if I wanted to do CSS that is just, um, what's the word for it? Scoped to this file, I could do so. So I could uh, do header and then we could say background black. And I think this should override the tailwind styles that we have here. Uh, don't, go, don't quote me wrong. Yeah, noise, boom. And it's black, which is kind of cool. And I really love Astro. Astro is pretty awesome. So I wanted to um, try out Astro. I think we did. This was a really good start. The last thing I'm going to say for the few of you that are here, I am doing build in public project. So anybody's able to um, 
participate. Uh, we're building an events uh, website using Next.js. Uh, so I'm going to share this repo. If you want to build out this project with us publicly, we already have a couple of to-do issues. You could go inside here and you could pick any one of these items. You could create it and then you could create a PR. Um, so very, very cool. You could look at the readme file, how to uh, fork this project, clone it locally, get it running. So this way you could start making commits and changes. So if you want to explore Next 13 uh, with Strappy, we're doing this build in public. It's for the next three weeks. So plenty of time. So want to participate, go ahead and do it. Yeah, and Jose, Astro is awesome. To me, like, let me just come back here for a second. I want to show you something. So I have this mirror roadmap. Um, roadmap for front end. And check this out. So I have here learn HTML, learn JavaScript, learn CSS, then I have learn Remix. So now what I'm going to do here uh, for this roadmap, I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to duplicate this. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Uh, duplicate. And now we're gonna say, wait, I duplicated the wrong one. Uh, no big deal. Control Z, Control Z, it's fine. Here, I'm gonna say, learn Astro. Why? Because with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, Without knowing React, you could build so many different websites. So this is gonna be my new recommendation after, uh, and what's awesome, Astro, you could also do with TypeScript. So you could start learning TypeScript. So this is gonna be my a new addition to this. So learn HTML, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Astro. So all Astro projects, and you could use React in Astro, but for all Astro projects, I'm literally just gonna use straight up vanilla JavaScript, straight up, straight up uh, CSS. And what I did with Astro, actually, this is cool. I I forgot where I put it, this project. Good Lord, I, hold on, I'll show you. Before I go, I'll, I'll gonna show you. This is really cool. So um, I, a uh, long time ago, I created this HTML and CSS project uh, with basic, um, what should we call it? With basic vanilla CSS. I created it using, what the hell is it? Um, oh, this one. I created this with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. What's crazy when you're using just vanilla HTML and CSS, like if you have multiple pages, you gotta repeat this navigation, right? You gotta repeat and reuse code because you're not able to uh, create HTML components that you could close, like keep together. Um, and so if we go here, go to, uh, let's say, um, settings, Dude, they change so much stuff here. Right, if you look at this code here, this is just straight up HTML and CSS. Um, right, uh, I mean, this is not like the best example because I only have one page, but if we have one page, but if you had multiple pages, you would have to repeat the header on multiple pages, you know? And notice how, like, I have this home section, HTML, right? But if I wanted to use this home, home section somewhere else, I would have to repeat this HTML. So what Astro allows you to do, it allows you to still write um, HTML, but you could create Astro components with HTML. And so I don't remember in which GitHub I have this, um, I don't remember uh, what the hell I call this project. Why am I going? Not my pro. Yeah, uh, hold on a second. Uh, strappy Auth Sharp Build in Public Strappy. Uh, this is no. Why am I coding in .NET? Public next year. No time snake. Like, what the hell did I call it? Uh, maybe hold on. Astro.
cool astro template portfolios yeah here it is portfolio um here we go so check this out this is astro so i was those components that i showed you that were html i saved them into components in astro which is same html that i used i actually let me clone this project I'll show you. It's so, so cool. And then I could make this dynamic with Strapi, which I didn't do yet. So before I go, I'm going to do this. Copy. Control C. LS. CD. CD temp. LS. Uh, get clone. Astro. Astro static. CD Astro Static Yarn. So that same HTML CSS website I showed you. I, did I did I close it? Um, did I close it? I did close it. Good lord. Oh yeah, here it is. So we have, this is the HTML side. North side, we have the home section. And if I want to reuse it somewhere, I basically have to repeat it. In Astro, not the case. So Yarn Dev, like check this out. So this is the same website, built in Astro, right? This is like um, using JavaScript. This is all vanilla HTML and CSS. And what's awesome, like versus just building HTML, CSS and uh, showing you the way I showed you, like, check this out. I'm going to open this in code. Um, look at this. I have my source. I could use my layout to have a wrapper um, component and I could pass children in there. So I could have a wrapper element um, and then I could have all these components. So all these components. And again, it doesn't matter. This is all straight up HTML inside them that represent my card. So it doesn't matter if you see the code or not. When I go to the pages, my index page, look at this. I'm able to use these components. And what's awesome, if I have another page and I want to reference a component that already exists, I could just use that. And so I don't have to repeat myself. And that's the power of Astro. It is so awesome. Um, if you want to check out this project, let me share the repo for you. Um, dude, I have too many windows open. Before I go, uh, Next.js build in public. I already talked about that. Oh, shit. Did I close it? No, that's a different project. Dude, I... Where the hell did I open it? Oh my God, too many windows, too many windows, too many windows. Uh, I'll share this project. You should uh, check it out. Um, I did close it. GitHub, Astro, Astro starter, starter, higher tool, portfolio static starter. I think this is the one I just showed. Yeah, check it out. Play with it. Um, Asher is pretty awesome. So it's a really good example of a completed site. So I'll put it in the chat before we go here. Um, yeah, 100%. So Astro does. That's why I love it. Astro, I'm obsessed with Astro. Um, Astro makes coding way simpler and faster for sure. So for, for majority projects, you actually don't need to reach out for React or Next.js, believe me, like Remix. I love Remix, I love Next.js, I love all that stuff, but I'm now, my basically for a majority of the website, so let me just show you here. And you, it, like just because Astro is dynamic, you could still, I mean, static, you could still create dynamic elements. So for me here, with Astro, if the site is for blog, marketing, agencies, e-commerce portfolio, Astro is perfect. Unless you need to make like a serious web app, I don't think there's any reasons to use Remix or Next.js. And so my general approach now is going to be 
build a front-facing site with Astro because why do overkill? And if I need to build a dashboard area, Remix would be perfect for that. So you could have your main site be Astro and then your uh, dashboard where people log in could be built with Remix. So that way you don't have to build everything and have overkill. And Astro sites, they're super duper fast uh, and SEO friendly. So really good. So anyway, I streamed for basically two hours and I haven't had dinner yet. And I want to thank you all who joined. It really means a lot to me. I know watching people code is boring as hell, but I'm going to use these coding streams for two reasons. Number one, because it will allow me to continue to explore and practice coding live and talking about what I'm doing. I think it's just a good practice for me in general because it will allow me to get better at what I do. And then second, for anybody that is interested, could jump in and watch. More importantly, if you have questions, you could ask questions. And even more importantly, I think it's important for new beginners to see what coding looks like and how people think through stuff and how I go about stuff. For instance, I haven't done vanilla JavaScript in forever. Like doing React for me, like I, I'm at a point I could probably do it with my eyes closed. Uh, same thing with Next 13. I'm pretty good with Next 13. I built a bunch of projects with Next 13. Remix, I'm kind of good. And so when I go back to vanilla JavaScript, it's like, hey, I, I forget stuff. So I'll show you how to look stuff up or you could use chat GPT to help you out, which all perfectly fine. And now I'm going to remember. But the truth is the more you do something, uh, the more you repeat it to yourself, the more on top of mind it's going to be. If you stop practicing something for a long period of time, you're going to start forgetting it. So this is why I appreciate Astro. It allows me to go back to the web basics in a fun way where I'm able to use HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript to build cool apps when I need a break from React or Remix or Next.js or any framework there. But I want to thank you all for stopping by. It really means so much. And I'll be streaming every Friday uh, on Elder Code. Thank you, Northern Chip. I appreciate it. Represent 43. 43 all the way. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll keep doing these coding streams. Um, I'm also trying to be back chatting on discord more let me uh share the link to join on discord um it's the coding after 30 i had another community i'm so bad with communities i'm getting to a point where literally i think discord is the best one my other community i had which i had a bunch of people in i just i'm very bad this is why i do the live streams like if someone really wants to co connect with me just come to the live streams but i am going to put an effort uh, to use Discord more. And I use Discord at work a lot. So I always have Discord open. So this now makes more sense to me. So I'm going to copy copy the link and share with you if you're not on Discord yet. Um, and I'll throw it in the chat before I go. So here's the Discord link for all of you that are interested. Definitely stop on by and hang out and say hello but with that being said thank you so much i really appreciate you all and if you're a new developer learning to code trying to break into the industry it's hard but it's possible i did it in my late 30s and like i still feel like i suck but apparently you know it's normal uh if i could do it you could do it and if you need some motivation go and uh are you collecting communities what do you mean by that no no i i'm very like i am I am, I don't know, I'm like, I'm terrible with social media and getting back to people. It's so unfortunate. I got to get better. Uh, but I do have Discord. Um, and I think Anna's still uh, on stream. And I will uh, at dinner. And thank you for stopping. By the way, Anna, you and I, uh, Anna's a good friend of mine. Anytime you want me to coach you, reach out to me. I'll help you out. Uh, I'm available any time for you um but um with that being said like you know i am on discord i am part of some communities but i have coding after 30 here so stop on by chat say hello i'm going to be more active here uh but again thanks yeah i might yeah i am uh anyway but thank you so much and i will see you all and i'm already like falling asleep but i'm not gonna sleep i am gonna binge some netflix shows 
uh, before sleeping. But I am going to eat a massive dinner. But thanks a lot, everybody. Love you all. Thank you for support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.